Hey, what's happening? Welcome to the channel. My name's Brandon, and I'm gonna turn this shipping container into a small living room and a laundry room for my wife and I. We recently sold our house. We're living in a 33 foot camper. It, uh, it was big enough whenever I was out working on the road and living in it while I was off working. But now that we're doing it full time, there's not enough room in that sucker. So I've got a, sh a 20 foot shipping container what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a roof off this so I can cover my smokers, have an outdoor cooking area. Uh, in here on the far wall right there, we're gonna have a washer and dryer set up. We're gonna have a couch, a coffee table, TV, a little place to hang out, uh, maybe have some company over or whatever. We do have a house on the property that we're living on right now, but it's gotta be completely remodeled. It's a little small farmhouse. so. I created this channel. This is the first video for it. Hopefully it's not too bad of a video and uh, you guys are entertained with it. Check it out. So like I said, this is the inside of the shipping container and they start filling up fast with the junk. What I was gonna do was I was gonna go two foot centers and on the walls, two foot center on the walls and then 16 inch centers on the ceiling. But I think I'm gonna reverse that and I'm gonna go 16 on the walls and two foot on the ceiling but right now the way i'm gonna build the walls up my uh i'm gonna leave a little bit of room at the top where the two by four just slides in and i can add as i need to as i go along and the way i change this up because once our house gets finished this is going to turn into something else and i don't know exactly what that's going to be but anyway let's get started building so here we go. I'm not getting just I'm not getting it done just super fast, but I have all my foam cut for this side of the wall. This is a 12 foot run so far. Right here. 12 foot run and I've got my uh, wall studded up for the back wall too. Um, I have to figure out where I'm going to cut the hole for my uh, dryer vent and then I need to put a hole for the washer hookup and the drain and then probably bring in some uh, cut a hole so I'm bringing some electric in here so like I said everything I'm doing is temporary so I'm keeping all my pieces all my metal bits and then I'll weld those back into place whenever uh, the washer and dryer come out but anyway that's it so far so here we go, day one, complete. I have 12 foot, 12 foot of a uh, wall up, and then the back wall, and I got the ceiling up too. So when you guys, if you do get a shipping container, I'm gonna have to step in for my light. But anyway, if you look, I have enough room for my insulation right there, and it goes over and it gets tight. And it right there on the corner, this corner right here, it's just barely enough where I can get my finger in, but I actually allowed for an inch on all my measurements to uh, let the foam uh, board slide above my rafters. So when you do actually get, if you do, if you guys try this, um, be sure you uh, check out all your corners and make sure nothing's damaged uh, make sure it's all good you can see right there where it's, it's kind of dinged a little bit I actually was looking at that spot looks like it might be a little rusted that spot right there but I don't think it's going through but anyway yeah you can see right there real good and then it tightens up how tight it gets so anyway that's it. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna, I, so like I said, I put the walls are 16 foot centers and then the ceiling is two foot centers. And, uh, oh yeah, that's, that messed me up too. Whenever I couldn't go, I seen how tight this was. So I left this open, but I have uh, four foot here and I got foot, four foot over there. And look at this. I got everything nice and clean. I let my son and my dad help me. And look at that. Look how they cut that, put that in there. Oh well. 
free help. It's great. But yeah, this is a this is the first day. I'll get back out here probably tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I have to figure out. I went ahead and put the insulation up and the wall up, and that way I know exactly where I need to put the dryer vent hole. The uh, I'm gonna just put some nipples uh, through the wall for the for the plumbing. I'm just gonna hook a water hose up to the outside. And then just, that's just, uh, like I said, uh, this is just a temporary fix. And what I did here on my corners, I didn't really, there's no load bearing wall, you know what I mean? So uh, all I did was just for where I trimmed my two by four. This is, uh, I just screwed it here, here, and screwed it there in three places. It's, I mean, it's, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Shouldn't have any trouble with it, but I am. Once I get my plumbing set up for the washer and then my plug, my my vent for my dryer, I'm gonna put the OSB up, and I'm not gonna put the OSB up on the ceiling yet because I'm I'm still leaving my options open for uh, my electrical and stuff. Like I said, this is all temporary, so I don't want to get too involved with with covering everything, but I do want to insulate it, make it as tight as I can. And it's not even really echoing that much as it was in here now that this is this foam board. It's just R5 insulation. You can even see right here, it's three quarter inch. It's just R5. I'm in uh, Northeast Texas. It, uh, I mean, I got what, another uh, four or five weeks six weeks tops of bad weather, cold weather, and it's really not even that cold. I mean, uh, it, it's just really not that cold. But anyway, I, that also threw me off right here whenever that insulation up there wouldn't go, so I gotta cut it down. And uh, I'm just gonna slide this up, just slide this up here, and then I'll probably just put this uh, two foot section up, and then I'll just put a board I'll just put one of these boards right here like this underneath it just and it's not going to look right I, I don't i don't like anything looking uh i like it all looking good you know what i mean but it is what it is so it's the best i can do right now but yeah this is uh i think my my i'm gonna put a i'm gonna come eight foot off of this uh, rafter right here. I'm gonna come back eight foot and uh, hang the rods off for clothes, and then same over here. And then I might do some storage up in this area above the washer and dryer, you know, for the soaps and stuff like that. And then uh, my son has a dresser, and then we have a dresser over here. I'll probably build some kind of a I'll probably build some kind of a lock header or whatever, maybe even a, a little doorway or whatever, and that way I can kind of give it a little bit. I can, I can, I can put a load bearing here or whatever, and then I can run a header from wherever my entrance is to the to the end of that wall, because uh, clothes are pretty heavy, and then I'm not going to worry so much on this half. And then I'm going to get my couch and TV and all that stuff in here. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at now. So, it's been a few days, but here's where we are right now. I'm all the way to the end of the wall. What I'm gonna do is, I didn't go all the way to the end, because what I wanna do is I wanna build a wall going across here and put a door in, and then I'll have an air conditioner and a window in this area, and then you just open the, the shipping container doors and uh, you can see out. That's the plan. And then whenever we're not using it, just shut the doors, lock it up, and it's done. I was gonna use, man, I was gonna use this door right here, but it's, uh, it takes up the whole end of the shipping container. It doesn't leave any room for a uh, air conditioner, and I'm not ready to cut a hole in the side of the building yet, other than some electrical so that's where we're at right now
I haven't cut the hole for the dryer vent yet. I went ahead and walled it up. I know I, in one of the video clips I said that I'm gonna cut, cut the hole and then put all this in, but I got in a hurry and went ahead and just put it in, figured I could figure it out later. So that's where we're at. Let me get some holes cut. I'll be back. So here we go, an update. It's early in the morning. We're trying to uh, get everything ready. We got some bad weather coming, they say. So I got a little propane bottle. I got a line going in. I got a little propane heater. This is actually my number two aluminum wire. And I'm actually using it as a uh, extension cord for my dryer. Uh, I don't know, I'm no electrician, so hopefully number two will work for that. Carry you inside. So this is it. Got a little heater going. Shut the door. And so I haven't put the OSB up on the walls yet because I really don't know what this is gonna end up being. It is going to be for my wife, and she likes to crochet a lot. So I think I'm going to leave the walls like this until we get more secure in our house and we know what's going on. But uh, there's the washer and dryer. It's hooked up. I don't know. You can see the holes that I just put in the uh, back of it. And then I just, uh, I just put the, the water lines out. And then just hooked up to a water hose. We only have cold water wash. And then the same with the dryer. There's the hole for it and the vents going out. But yeah, this is it. So far, it's worked out pretty good. I got a couch to hang out at. Got my coffee table. Got internet hooked up out here on Wi-Fi. And see the uh, wall right there? I just put that board across like that. Because I am I run out of 8 foot 2 by 4s And... I cut two 12 foot two by fours, but man, it's expensive as those things are right now. I'll, I'll wait and go get some eight footers. Plus I'm gonna put a window in there and a window unit and all kinds of stuff. So this uh, coffee table, I made it from another YouTuber on YouTube. He, uh, it's called Michael Builds and I built it exactly like he explained and it come out exactly like he said it would. So anyway, I got a table to sit at and have dinner at now. I got a couch to hang out on and I'm not cramped up in a camper. And uh, just gives us some room to, to move around. So I think this is where I'm gonna end this video and uh, we'll do more on this later. And I always, yeah, I've already got all my stuff too. I got a, a breaker panel, a breaker box. I got all my outlets and my all my stuff to uh, Put electricity in my breakers and stuff i just haven't done it yet and then I, uh i you know I, i'll do all that later but anyway this is more of a just just throwing ideas out there it's not a how-to by no means because i'm not a framer this right here proves i'm not a framer see the two by four and how far over i went and all that it's just i get an idea in my head what i want and i do it and if it comes out great and if it don't then We'll figure something else out but anyway this is just a and this is a 20 foot shipping container i got a washer and dryer i got a kitchen table or a little breakfast table a love seat a coffee table and a computer and a heater and i'm uh i'm happy so guys if you like this uh video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it you can thumbs down it that's fine too i know what to do and not to do and if you do like it, uh, please subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe. We'll uh, eventually do something you do like. See ya.